Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to just do a quick last update on my gluten-free week three. I know we had said we were going to go a month, but we leave for Disney in today's Wednesday and we leave next Tuesday. So we're actually going to implement gluten uh, this week. What did I just say? I tried to say wheat and weekend together and yeah. Anyways, so this weekend we're going to try a little bit of gluten. Um, my sister, my brother-in-law, and my sweet nephew is coming to town this weekend. So um, I think it'd be a great time to just see how gluten um, affects our body. Um, so let's just start with how my sugars have been. I don't know what's been going on with my sugars lately. They've still been pretty good. I have been going low quite a bit. Um, last week was actually a lot going low. So... I went ahead and did the 30 days um, report and I, we didn't actually start the gluten free till August 5th. So if you look on my phone, it's going to say uh, July 30th through August 28th. Nope. This is what it looks like. So it's saying my sugar, nope. Okay, it's really going to be hard to focus. There we go. Sugar is 93% range, it is 1% low, 6% high, and then my average glucose is 119. If we look at the last report, just do seven days, just to see how this week's been. I will say that I did cheat. Really sad. Um, so I have like a bad habit of like eating brownie batter before it's actually cooked. <laughs> I don't know why. It tastes so much better in my opinion. But um, Saturday night we had a church thing Sunday where we were just having like an ice cream social slash um, dessert party kind of thing and so I made brownies and my mom's stove isn't or oven isn't working so she asked me to make her brownies and I had done so good had not cheated at all until this and I was really sad but my gosh it was like so good I hadn't really had any chocolate because we've been so strict uh, so it was like chocolate and gluten and just delicious, delicious, delicious goodness all in one bite. It was amazing. Um, my husband actually cheated too, but he didn't mean to. He they had like a popcorn bar at his work, and they had like literally you could put anything on popcorn, and they had like Oreo um, crumbs to put on it, and he forgot they weren't gluten free. But he said he ate it, but he didn't eat any more of it. But he just ate like one little piece, and he felt like a terrible person because. He knew I would get onto him, which then I cheated the next day. So, uh, we did cheat a couple of times during our um, diet, but we have been really good the past few days. Anyways, back to the sugars. So, this week was a little bit, like I said, was a little bit more um, going low a lot. Um, let me see if I can look it in there. So, it says my average sugar was 118. I don't know if you guys can really see it. But the little bar on the top right there, it has me at 2% low, which if you don't know, if you go low, like uh, low blood sugar is 70 or below, I was going like 50 and it was really bad and it was like happening a lot, not even after I ate supper, but like after I would eat supper, get ready for bed and then it took forever to climb back up. So I was, you know, you're supposed to take a while before you... Um, after you like correct essentially if you drink grape juice or whatever you do to shoot it back up well it would take forever so I was like oh my gosh what's happening and then I would wake up in the middle of the night and it would shoot up to like 180 which was awful I literally hate that it's like the roller coaster effect but anyways so my sugar was actually pretty low for the most part as far as this week um, my sugar hasn't been too bad it has been going a little high the past two or three nights and it doesn't start till like um, 10 o'clock at night when I usually go to bed 10 or 11 o'clock and then it goes high so if you look at my graph that was my graph for the past 12 hours which isn't bad not bad at all if you look for the past 24 hours the it's not that bad either um, it is going a little higher than I would like but I haven't been going low so that's really good but just to wrap up this whole gluten-free experience I did let my doctor know yesterday and he said He's super excited uh, for me. He would tell his other patients if they wanted to try it. Um, since I've tried it and we do have pretty good results with it, that's an option. Um, I know last video I had said my face was a lot clearer, which I don't know what's going on through here. 
So, sometimes it is. I also think dairy does this to my skin, so I don't know if it's just gluten or dairy. But, um, I really haven't noticed anything else besides my sugars have been pretty good. Um, I don't feel as bloated. I will say that too. Um, whenever I eat, I feel like with the wheat, I think this is true anyways, like your stomach's just like bleh at one time or my stomach didn't feel like that. Um, I could say probably the same for my husband. I will say it has been a challenge, especially I was really tempted last Friday when I went to uh, Cracker Barrel with my family because they're like, do you want cornbread or biscuits? You're like, all the above. Um, but that was really weird. So I just had a steak, salad, broccoli, and mashed potatoes. One thing also, if you eat mashed potatoes, gravy has gluten in it. So that's depressing. But anyways, um, just wanted to update you guys. It hasn't been terrible. It's been three weeks. The first week was the worst. After that, it's not bad at all. Um, I would say going forward, I probably won't stay gluten-free. I will definitely cut back. So I'm saying like two two to three times a week um we might have some gluten in there but i'm not going to limit myself to absolutely nothing like i have the past three weeks so if you want to go for it like try it try it and see if it works for you uh, that's what i would do i try and see if it works for you because it works for you that's great i think it's really worked for me it is hard it is hard um and it's really sad my husband always said gluten uh Without having gluten in your food, it doesn't make you happy. <laughs> but anyways, I will say it's hard, but I would say go for it. If you are having high sugars, and you're a diabetic, and you've tried everything, and you're trying to exercise, and everything is just not working out the way you want to, try it. I would say even if you have, you know, high-ish sugars, try it. You never know till you try, and it's going to be hard, but it's worth it. It's worth it to see how your body reacts. Um... If you have low blood sugars, I would recommend watching it if you try this, just because that's one thing my doctor said yesterday. He was like, if your sugars continue to go low, because I was going low like three times a day, uh, you need to cut back on your long lasting insulin. So you're still getting insulin, but since you're not eating as much or eating as many carbs, um, you don't keep going low or you don't have to keep eating and eating and eating until your stomach is just like, this is too much food, but you're trying to keep your sugar up. So try it. I like challenge you guys, try it. You will see how it works. Um, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad my husband and I did it. I will say we didn't lose any weight, which was a little surprising, but it was still worth it. Um, as far as exercising, I know I had done a quick update, gosh, probably the first or second week. Yeah, we sucked at exercising. <laughs> like the first two weeks we were like, yes! And then after that, I don't want to say the first two weeks. I'd say the first week. And then he was getting home at like 7 o'clock at night. And then you just want to eat and go to bed. So exercising, we get a thumbs down. But gluten-free, thumbs up. We did great. Um, if you do try it, please let me know how it works for you in the comments below. I am super excited that we tried it. I'm super excited to see how gluten affects us. Um, if we're going to have like an allergy to it now. Or if we're just going to be completely normal since we only went off of it for three weeks. Anyways, let me know if you guys try it because I'd love to, you know, help you and, you know, be like a coach to you if you have any questions. I've been there. I know it sucks, but it's worth it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys.